Did you also watch the game yesterday? I didn't watch the game yesterday. I don't like watching live matches. Why? The heart attack is too much. Oh. <laughs> so um, I heard, and I understand it was in the 90th, 94th mm -hmm. minute that we equalized. Who equalized? Huh? No, we equalized before, before. we went ahead. Yeah, and but who, scored who, the second who, goal. who scored the second goal? I didn't watch the Did match. Did they score the second goal? Okay. Um, Jordan, you mean? Jordan. Jordan. Yes. Jordan. Yes. <laughs> so you see, the, the 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 coach has learned the stamina of all his uh, uh, players mm. and probably realized that he would need uh, Jordan. Jordan. Uh -huh at a crucial point yeah. and brought him in at the right time. I've always liked Jordan and the way he runs mm -hmm. on the right. He's a mm -hmm. right, he's a out back. He, he can really move from defense right up to attack. And I think he did well. But let's praise them for what they've been able to do. Mm. We criticize them when they don't do it right. Let's see how the rest goes. So where are we on the table now? Second. We're second, We're second, second. on the table, yes. And are this we... qualifies us for uh, the World, World Cup. The World Cup yes. and Afcon. Mm -hmm. So we have two more games to Fantastic. play, and then we'll know. Let's hope that we're able Fantastic. to. The maintain. World Cup is next year. Yes. So the squad. Is it next year? Twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six. So the squad. It gives the squad time to gel to and gel. work together. Yes. Hmm. Uh, United States will be waiting for us. Hmm. We're looking forward to it, and yes. we hope that we all get yes. to attend and, yes. and, and yes. watch that the opening game. It's in America, game. isn't it? Oh yes. Hey, the number of people who will go. American that's if you have an American passport, Dutch that passport, UK Papa. passport. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a Ghana passport, you better start applying now, because, because I hear the that. Are yes, to the next application. Or so. <laughs> anyway, lawyer in uh member of the MPP communications team, is here as well. Good morning. Good How are you doing? I'm doing great, Bella. Mm. Are you also a big fan? of the black stars yes 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 okay. did you watch or you two were hiding in the corner waiting for results no, actually i had an assignment to submit okay. so whilst busy uh, working on the assignment which uh, I, I couldn't submit anyway because the portal closed before i could make i could say jack mm. i was also watching the, the match at the peripheral because of the, the patriotic nature of uh, Ghanaians mm -hmm. in supporting our team we knew that our team is a bit weak and developing but all that we were praying that we could get some draw uh, in, in Mali, mm -hmm. then so that when we come back to Kumase, which is our favorite ground for the Black Stars, yeah. we could make a, a serious impact. But thankfully, the Black Stars made us proud mm. in an away encounter, scoring two goals to one. In fact, they were down by a goal by before a goal. even mm -hmm. the first half ended. Mm -hmm. a, a minute or so to the first half, the end of the first half, the, the, the Malians made an incursion. Yeah. And it, it ended in a goal. And subsequently, we came back we are uh, from behind and made it 1-1. Mm -hmm. Then at the, at, the, at the almost the tail end of the closing of the match, uh, Jordan yeah. Ayu also made us proud and made the Black Star shine. Mm -hmm. So we say kudos to, the, to our guides, to the technical team, and to the management of the Black Stars yeah. and urge them to continue to put in much effort in developing the game, mm -hmm. which has um, advertised Ghana so much the extent that we even travel to the minutest part of, yeah. of the world. People recognize Ghana because of football and other, 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 other stuff. And it's interesting. They continue to say Asamoah Jan. Gian. Jan. <laughs> yes, every, everywhere you go. They're like, oh, Ghana black stars, Asamoah Gian. Like, everywhere you go. It's just incredible. But, I but do Bella, hope that one, we're able to live up to. One thing that we need not to um, escape, the fact that we don't have enough fire tenders in this country yeah. to be able to attack fires that come up. And I think it is something government really needs to look at. I, mm. I, I, I heard the fire service say that, is it between Amasama and Insawam? There's no fire tender anywhere. And so I think that is key and crucial. Look at what happened yeah. at Circle the other day. So I think it, it is something we should the take. The money, can buy it. some of the fire <laughs> tender. When, when we get, uh, said now, Tama close 94 million Ghana cities. Hey, now we, we equalize it. <laughs> See, I mean, it's, money, it's a very serious you know, matter. See, serious serious money, matter. It, it's a private money. Well, it, it has not been established, been established so, so let's wait for yeah. that But with certain Tamaklu, where the NDC know her yeah. whereabouts? Yeah. Where she was an appointee of John Muhammad's administration? I just said the something that was The money is sitting right there. It has been established by a court of competent yeah. jurisdiction. And Mr. Maliba, her helper. 
bring her in so that she can give us our money so that we can use same in procuring some essential necessities of the mm. state. This is what we are asking okay. for. We are not asking for much. Yeah, okay. Not to attack somebody's private resources, okay. which has not been proven we'll or tainted. <laughs> Points noted. But I mean, it was even very disturbing yesterday when we spoke to a member of the PRO team, the PR team for the uh, Ghana Fire Service, and he was even talking about the fact that they lacked the adequate um, protective gear yeah. to even protect themselves. Fire, yeah. So yesterday when, he, you know, we showed the video, he was at... Uh, Echo Morgan Circle, and he didn't have the mask. So you could tell that the smoke wow. was entering his eyes, and he was struggling even in speaking. And it's, it's very disturbing. But let's do hope that as we continue to talk about a lot of these things, something will actually be done about it. But now let's go to court, shall we? Um, yesterday, the judge who's handling the ambulance trial um, between the attorney general, of course, um, and the minority leader in parliament who served as a deputy finance minister back in the day when that deal um, was handled, Honorable Kesel Atuforsin. And of course, um, A3, who is Mr. Jakba, the man who also helped in procuring these ambulances into the country. Yesterday, the judge gave a ruling on some applications that had been filed by both A1 and A3. And I'm talking about Honorable Kesel Atuforsin and of course, Mr. Richard Jakba. The judge on this matter is Justice Ifia Sewa Asari Botri. And yesterday, uh, during her ruling on four applications filed by the minority leader and the third accused, uh, she explained that the Attorney General's decision to step aside would ensure that the judicial process was protected. So, in fact, she was advising the Attorney General to recuse himself from the matter following that tape that had been released by the NDC uh, that sort of implicated the Attorney General, who was trying to have, you know, was having a conversation with Mr. Richard Jaffa, trying to convince him to give a testament in a certain direction just so they could nail, um, you know, the minority leader. These are allegations, by the way. Now, the judge explained that it will also help to gain public confidence and not give a perception that cases can be held at any other place except the courtroom. But the Attorney General, after this ruling, came out and he was, you know, all smiles, excited, singing a very popular hymn. And he says that even though that advice has been given by the judge, he does not intend to recuse himself. In fact, he's still going to go ahead with this trial and will proceed with the case. Now, let's take a look at these four applications that were filed by both uh, Mr. Richard Jakpa and Honorable Kesel Atufos. And then we'll take a look at the ruling that was given by the judge as well. So these are the applications. First of all, it says that an order of inquiry into the conduct of the Attorney General following the allegations made by Mr. Richard Jakpa. That was one of the applications that was filed. And also... Um, an order of mistrial with the aim of terminating the case. They were hoping that this case would be terminated. And also a stay of proceedings until the application is determined and a motion asking the court to strike out charges against the businessman. Now let's take a look at the ruling that was given by the judge um, on these four applications with regards to exactly what it is that the judge had to say. So first of all, um, if we can project that very quickly, producers, thank you very much. So it says that, um, in my view, the third accused applicant who has to prove every assertion he makes of having been interfered with must put forward every evidence in proof of what he alleges. Bare assertions without more cannot stand up the evidential test, especially as those assertions are denied. Uh, let's move on to the next one. It says, it is worthy of note that A3, who in this case is Mr. Richard Jakba, is still under cross-examination by lawyers for A1 and is yet to be cross-examined by the prosecution. On the record, there is no evidence that any promises have been made or that there has been anything that has so undermined the case before the court as to render it void. Now, it says it must, however, be clarified that what the applicant is seeking is not known to our case law or other domestic legislation, even though she went ahead to even quote, um, you know, an instance in Canada um, where such an issue came up as well. It says, this standalone application for stay of proceedings, which is intended to abruptly terminate this case, whether in the nature of a discharge or an acquittal, is not known to our law, and same is accordingly refused. In fact, when it comes to the issue about, you know, um, looking into the abuse of process more like by the attorney general the judge indicated that as long as that conversation was not had um you know in the view of the court and it was had outside they do not have that power to even rule on that matter in particular in fact they she advised that they go to the general legal counsel 
to, to try and see what can be done about, um, you know, the, the behavior of the Attorney General. So a lot of issues have come up regarding this. Let's listen to what the Attorney General had to say very quickly, and then we'll hear from the communications officer for the NDC, um, Sami Jemfi, who also had quite a number of things to say regarding the ruling. Head of the church triumphant, we joyfully adore thee. And I said to you that they will lay traps, but all the traps are flee from them. And indeed, only righteousness will prevail. The first accused, Dr. Atu Forsen, and the third accused, Richard Jaqua, had filed four applications seeking, among others, an order of inquiry into the conduct of the Attorney General, a mistrial, and a stay of proceedings order citing an audio tape containing a conversation between the Attorney General and the third accused. In dismissing the applications, however, Justice Asari Butri indicated that the court had no jurisdiction in a criminal matter to order an inquiry into the conduct of the Attorney General, particularly when it had called on the accused person to open their defense after the prosecution had closed its case. She also explained that there was no legal basis in the country's statutes to rely on to make an order for a mistrial. The judge stated that they had admitted the audio recording between the Attorney General and Richard Jaqua as evidence. She cited that the allegations made by the third accused against the Attorney General coercing him to implicate Atu Forsen were suggested by Mr. Jaqua and not Mr. Dame. After giving her a ruling, Justice Ifya Sewa Asaribuchi advised the Attorney General to recuse himself from the trial in order to protect the judicial process. By speaking after the hearing, the Attorney General declined the offer. I mean, you remember you were in court, the judge herself, even after the ruling, clarified. That's what you mean, Mr. Jaqua. And that is only an advice. Yes. And what you did notice, of course, I'm conducting the matter. I'm still going to ask the NDC communications officer Sami Jinfi said they will pursue the case further. The trial judge says that it gives great discomfort for an attorney general and minister of justice to be speaking to an accused person when he knows that he's not supposed to be speaking to the accused person in the first place. And to be speaking to an accused person who was a lawyer in the case against the ethics of the profession including telling the accused person to lie and contrive a medical excuse duty to deceive the court. And the judge says these are serious issues of professional and prosecutorial misconduct and that the appropriate forum can deal with that. We have taken a cue from that. And we know that the appropriate forum is not only the GLC. The GLC is one. We shall trigger that process at the right time. Just Okay, well, they say they'll go to the General Legal Council at the right time. But let's get into the conversation now. And first of all, let me say good morning to Eric. I know you're watching this morning, and I, I get your message. For the sake of this conversation, I'd rather not mention your full name. But good morning, and I hope you're doing well. Lawyer well, Maliba, I'm coming to you, first mm -hmm. of all. I mean, um, you've heard from your director of communications. I want to hear from you what exactly you make of the ruling yesterday, and whether you're also not too happy about, you know, the fact that those four applications were struck out. Well, there are a lot of controversial issues arising from this uh, ruling. Mm. But let me say this. Yesterday was a day of shame for the Attorney General, for the Attorney General's Department, and the justice delivery system in this country. A day of shame because if for nothing at all, the reprimand or the gratuitous advice mm. given by the judge for the Attorney General to recuse himself was the first ever. Mm. Not even a police prosecutor has been so reprimanded. Not even the DPP. Not even a deputy attorney general, but a whole attorney general. Look, in some jurisdictions, serious jurisdictions, not our, our jurisdiction, which is a joke. In some serious jurisdictions, the attorney general would have been a goner. Mm. In fact, just, I'm not even going to talk about the US, I'm not going to talk about the UK, even just in South Africa here, we have been following their legal system. This attorney general would have been a goner. Because when you listen to the tape, the attorney general hugely, hugely, hugely misconducted himself. His 
his misconduct is so reprehensible that no serious jurisdiction will still leave the Attorney General to be sitting at where he is. But I know why he's there. Why is he there? And he said it in the tip. He is doing the bidding of Nana Kufado and then Ken of Oriata. He said those exact words in the tape? He said that those were the people putting him, putting pressure on him to prosecute and get out of Forsen jailed. He told the te te tell accused person, he told the tell accused person that. So am I therefore surprised that we have not heard anything from the president? I'm not surprised. But what baffled me was when the judge said that. When you listen to the tip, you will not hear the attorney general asking the third accused person to implicate the first accused person. I just <coughs> want to quote this okay. and ask a rhetorical question. And this was the attorney general talking to the third accused. If you do it the way I want, you won't have any problem. How does the judge situate this comment? Is it not urging on the third accused person to do the bidding of attorney general so as to get the first accused person convicted? The fact that the word implicate is not there does not mean that certain actions or uh, uh, comments by the attorney general cannot mean that he's asking the third accused person to implicate the first accused person. That for me was, was, was shocking to me, that statement. But you see, the issue of public confidence in the judiciary, the issue of having a population that will have confidence in the judiciary is key. Mm. And that is what the judge said yesterday that for the sake of the confidence that people will have in the judiciary, judicial integrity, the integrity of the judiciary, by the fact that the judiciary, you know, uh, 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 performs well or if what drives on confidence, <laughs> he advised the attorney general to recuse himself. And for me, that was a slap on the wrist. It should have been more than that, more yes. than just an advice. More than just an advice. And I think that I know how powerful the Attorney General is. I know, I know, I know how powerful he is. In my previous life as a Director of Legal Affairs, <coughs> I've come into contact. I know how powerful he is. If you want to uh, see it, you watch in court. When he appears before a judge, um, then uh, the way the judges will talk to the other lawyers and the way they will overly, overly accord respect to him, you can see it. So I know he rules a lot of, you know, weight when he goes to court. But I do not think that as a country, when Attorney General so misconducts himself, he's allowed to go on with the case as the judge said. <coughs> that he couldn't ask the Attorney General to recuse himself. He but couldn't make an order to ask the Attorney General that this matter was brought in bad faith because he has indicated that the third accused person has done nothing wrong, but that they were looking for the first accused person. That trial, that is ongoing, mm. was not brought to court because actually somebody did wrong. Because the Attorney General himself has indicated that that matter in court is as a result of pressure coming from the President and the former Finance Minister. But I've heard people calling on the Ghana Bar Association mm -hmm. to comment on this. I am saying that I'm a member of the Bar, but I have come to a firm conclusion that this bar is as useless as not to be in existence at all. You're criticizing the same bar that you yes, belong to. Yes, yes. 
Yes. How and why? This bar is vociferous. When a regime is in power, another regime is in power, this bar is silent on matters affecting lawyers that belong to the MPP side. Why? This is a serious matter. You have the Bar Association that regulates conduct of lawyers together with the General Legal Council, the mm. two. Mm. It's not only the Bar. Now, we have a tip in which the Attorney General has not even denied that that's my voice. He has not denied that he has not said those things. But he says it's a trap you people have laid for him. But he has he's not going to escape yes, the trap. Yes, you can set a trap to stop the commission of a crime. You can set a trap to stop the commission of a crime. And so, if the Attorney General has so hugely misconducted himself, what is the bar council waiting for? And it's not making comments to reprimand the Attorney General. But they should, I can assure them, they should forever remain silent. When the NDC comes and they find their voices, I will insult them like I've insulted them this morning. You, you get my point. So what is good for the goose is quite good for the gander. And I expected the bar by now to have come out with statements. But I knew that the Attorney General was not going to be disturbed. I knew that nothing useful was going to come from this. But you knew? Oh, I knew, I knew. Nothing happened. That Look, means you if, didn't if have general, in... Even if the Attorney General had shot and killed the third defendant, uh, accused person, not to come to court, nothing will happen to him. You don't have faith in the judiciary? I say nothing will happen to me. I've not said faith in judiciary. I've said that nothing will happen to him. Yeah, but if you say nothing will happen to him, the case is in court. I'm saying that if he had been brought to court, even <clears throat> with the offense of murdering the third accused person, so that he would stop coming to court to give evidence, not even witness tampering. This witness tampering is a joke. Nothing will happen to him. In this country, crime has callous. In this country, crime has callous. If crime... They don't have colors. Yeah? Mm. See, the Dapa will not be comfortable sitting with all his money, her money. There's going to be a suit. It has even been filed in the Supreme Court, trying to protect him the more. So I think that where we have gotten to, we just need to pray to God. But is it not good that at least this tape um, has been admitted as evidence in the trial. At least that's a step in the right direction, isn't it? What not? is good about it is that the credibility mm -hmm. of the Attorney General has gone to the lowest ebb. The credibility, because for the judge to even advise him to step aside, and I saw some of the MPP lawyers, eh? I saw Nanabi mm. gloating over, oh, is that an advice? Oh, is that an advice? But is it not? There are some advice. <coughs> if profit to you, mm -hmm. you must put your head down in shame. In our homes, where discipline prevails, it's not always that the cane is used. There are some advice. When your parents give them to you, you turn back and then you put your head down in shame. This is what Attorney General should have been doing. And not to be singing songs that look like dirges. He thought he was singing a Christian song. That was a dirge he was singing. Let's all the church triumphant. It's a dirge to me. It's a dirge to you? Yes, he should have put his head down in shame and walk out of the court and not to be singing that. That, that Christmas, uh, is it Christmas song or what? No, it's, no, it's just, I think it's, um, it's a Methodist hymn 411 or so. So, yes. so, if you have brought your image into disrepute, such as this, you don't come out gloating because a judge has advised you but has not made an order against you. How did you come to this point, Attorney General? You are supposed to be above board. How did you sink so low to the extent that a judge had to even ask you to repeat? <coughs> and I'm saying that this has never happened to a police prosecutor. A police prosecutor. This has never happened to a police prosecutor. Okay. So I think that the Attorney General was bruised yesterday. The Attorney General has brought the image of the 
institution, the Attorney General's Department into disrepute, and the Attorney General should bow down his head in shame. Lord Janta, what do you think of this? <laughs> Were you hoping I'd come to you last? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, I find it difficult to understand some of the issues that were highlighted by the judge, but still went ahead and did what she did. And for me, the crux of the matter mm. is to save the integrity of the judiciary. to build for Ghanaians to still have confidence in the Attorney General. So let me read. It says, the High Court judge overseeing the case had recommended that the Attorney General recuse himself after expressing concerns about Dami's interaction with Japa, the third accused outside the courtroom. The judge noted that Dami had discussed case details with Japa and encouraged him to submit a medical excuse to facilitate an adjournment. Is that not interference? Has the Attorney General not interfered with the case? And if he's interfered with the case, should he not be sanctioned for that? And the mere fact that she advised the Attorney General to recuse himself from the case says a lot. Mm. But the Attorney General then comes and says to us that um, he further criticized certain individuals for manipulating facts and misleading the public, asserting that the dismissal of all five ap applications against the prosecution <coughs> exposed these attempts at deception. All the five applicants have failed. And I think that in reaction to this, I will say that it clearly shows that there are a group of people in this country who ride on manipulation of facts, distortion, and deception of the public. Mm. Did the judge not say that he had interfered? Did she not say it? And because of that interference, he should recruit himself. Did she not say it? Mm -hmm. So why does he say this? Why does he say this? For me, he has already been found guilty by the judge's comments. But the judge needs to save the integrity of the Attorney General's office. And so she's moved the way she has moved. And I'm not criticizing the judge. I'm critiquing mm. what the judge says. But well, let me ask a question. Why is it that... In our country, Ghana, the Attorney General and Supreme Court judges are in the face of the public. Why? Do you see that in America? Do you see that in the UK? Do you see that in other countries? Sometimes you don't even know who the Attorney General is. Supreme Court judges, you do not even know. Go to America today and let ask anybody walking on the streets, who are the Supreme Court judges of this country? You think they'll be able to tell you? Why is the Attorney General? And look, these two institutions, they cement the unity of the country. Because the court is the only place anybody can go for restitution, for solving their problems. But the Attorney General and some Supreme Court judges are always in the face of the public. Why? Why should it be so? They are revered members of the judiciary. How many times do you hear the American Attorney General speaking? How many times do you hear the British Attorney General speaking? How many times do you hear the French Attorney General speaking? How many times? I don't. Do you? Even when there are cases that put the Attorney General in the line of fire, do you hear them speak? Theirs is to do their work independently and advise 
the Attorney General is the only one, so far as I know, mm -hmm. who has his responsibility in the Constitution. But maybe the coupling of the Minister of Justice from the Attorney General's Department would help. How would it help? Because the Attorney General sees himself as a politician. Mm. And that bit, Minister of Justice, is not a, isn't it a political position? Mm. Isn't it uh, 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 appointed, appointed by, by the, the president? By yeah. president? Yeah. That brings the politics in it. But I don't see why, if for nothing at all, we hear from Supreme Court judges. I don't see it. Some. I'm not saying all. I don't see it. For me, Supreme Court judges should only come out, especially when it's got to do with things with the Constitution. I don't know why the Attorney General suggested that Japa meet him mm. in his cousin's house, his cousin who was a Supreme Court judge. What caused him to do Was it because of his friendship with the Supreme Court judge? It now brings the Supreme Court judge into disrepute, doesn't it? Mm. We don't know what happened there, but the mere fact the Supreme Court judge's name is mentioned, it brings him into disrepute. And why? did the attorney general suggest that couldn't they have met anywhere but anyway why would he want to meet but, but an accused this is not the first time if you listen to lawyers and of course you're all lawyers on this table whenever there's an issue of prosecution for example there's really never anything against having some of these conversations on the side just so you can have the case you know who do you have the conversations favor? with who do those conversations who are they had with and they had between lawyers Andy, if you, you've done something, mm. I'm your lawyer, he's a prosecutor, and he wants us to discuss something. Will he not call me? Will he call you? Mm. He's supposed to call the lawyer. Will he say, Bella, come, let's dis discuss? He's supposed to call the lawyer. And the ethics of the legal profession is in statute. It's an ally. Should we not take that into consideration when some of these things have been? And even so, the leader of the bar, the attorney general, should he not acquiesce to the LI that governs the ethics of the legal profession? And so it now makes it look as... And I, I, for me, after the case, if I were the Attorney General, I would not have any interview with anybody, nor will I sing any songs. The case has been held. As they say, the law is in the bosom of the judge. She has made her ruling. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let's move on. <clears throat> because what does it do? It makes it look as if, it makes it look as if there is actually a certain intention. A certain intention. On whose part? Huh? On whose part? On Who's the it? Attorney General's part mm -hmm. to make sure that these people are jailed. Let me ask you a question. The reasons for this case is based on what? causing financial loss to the state. Mm -hmm. Was the um, buying of the ambulances, was it a legal transaction? Yes, it was a legal transaction. Mm -hmm. So let me ask, causing financial loss, so mm -hmm. bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. Has, has the president, has Kenoforiata, have they caused financial loss to the state in anything in this country? Have they? Your case being, or your point being? National Cathedral. How much money has been sunk into it? We are saying that the ambulances were not cost for what you call it, to be used. Mm -hmm. Because they were, they didn't meet, they didn't meet yeah, the standard. standards. Yeah. Have we seen a block where the National Cathedral is concerned? So the Attorney General how be much, wait, wait, wait. Okay. How much money has been sunk in there? And the MPP people tell you, oh, it went to Parliament. So it was given, uh, uh, what do you call by Parliament? Have we seen a block? Hasn't the taxpayers' money been, been put in a big hole? How much money is that? 58 million US dollars. Is that not causing financial loss to the state? Should that not attract... Eh? the special prosecutor and the attorney general mm. to take it up if causing financial loss to the state is what we are doing with this case. 
Is there no financial? Is there no financial loss in that in that case? Hmm. So what? We want to wait for this government to come out of power, for a new government to come in. If it's NDC that come in to not prosecute, but, is that but, what we want? But to the do? Attorney General again comes back to your point where you say that we should separate the two offices. The Attorney General is appointed by the president. How is he now going to? You so know, if the president, the so you're trying office. to tell me that if the president does something grievously wrong, I'm not trying to say. I'm just telling no, you no, what's the situation on so, the ground. Yeah. So I'm saying if the president does something grievously wrong against the state, mm. the attorney general cannot take action. That's what we're saying. The attorney general is there not for the president, for the people of Ghana. That's why he's there. The attorney general is supposed to be fair in some of these things, and mm -hmm. if the president does anything wrong, grievously wrong, it's the responsibility of the Attorney General to question the President. Go to any country. What has happened to Trump? Yeah. What has happened to Trump? And so, and you see, all this boils down to this book again. It boils down to this Constitution. There are certain things in this Constitution that do not help us to be able to do some of the things that need to be done when grievous harm has been caused the state. And we've got to be able to look at how we rectify the gaps in the Constitution. Because okay. really and truly, really and truly, at the present moment, isn't Ken Ofriata walking free? Huh? Mm. Did he not tell us that government money is not going to be part and parcel of the National Cathedral? Have you seen a block there? Oh, we've seen as a whole. Absolutely nothing. Mm. But money has been sunk in there. That is grave financial loss to the state. Okay. Grave. Let I'm not saying that this case shouldn't go to court. Let it go to court. Let's see how it travels. Let's see what comes out of it. And then the jury is, the, what do you call it? The public. Okay. Well, I'll come back to you on something that, you know, lawyer Maliba said, but let me let um, Council Afakwa also speak on this matter. Now, a lot of people are saying that this should not have been an advice coming from the judge to the Attorney General to recuse himself. In fact, you've heard lawyer Maliba say it as well, that she should have been able to direct the Attorney General to recuse himself. In fact, order him to recuse himself, especially if we're talking about the sanctity of this matter and the belief in the judiciary. And we didn't see that happen. Yeah. <clears throat> Bella, let me say a very good morning to yourself and to my own uncle morning. of Ajantua <laughs> and to lawyer Maliba and to your viewers. It is strange uh, to hear on this platform that the decision of yesterday was a day of shape to the learned attorney general and to the judicial process of this country and a whole lot of things. I am sad that a decision that is being applauded by all well-meaning Ghanaians is being described in such a manner. All well-meaning Ghanaians yes. or the NPP? All well-meaning Ghanaians. Okay. I, I, I sought not to clarify NPP, NDC. I said all well-meaning Ghanaians. What makes this Ghana's day of shame? And with emphasis that this is the first time that a letter attorney general is being reprimanded in court not even a state, a, a, a state prosecutor or whatsoever has been reprimanded in court. Um, Bella, let's refresh our mind. On the Martin Amidu versus Agwesi Woyome, Watervale Holdings 8L case, where the Supreme Court, speaking through his lordship, Justice Jones, Maulong Duche, stated that the whole spectacle amounted to create loot and share. Let's interrogate this subject matter of the learned justice of the Superior Court. Create loot and share. Who authorized for the payment of the over what what mean $20 million or $50 million to uh, uh, Afred Abisi Wayumi and the likes? Why is not the learned attorney general? Was it not fact that even the president at the time instructed that payments ought not to be made? But yet still, the Attorney General then authorized payments of that amount, where the court ruled that it was paid illegally, and that the court, as far as uh, um, um, relying on its obita dictum, stated that it amounted to a great loot and share. 
It was the first time that a land attorney general was indicted criminally in the Supreme Court, the apex court of the land. Madam Betimo Didrisu, with all due respect, I didn't want to come here and be mentioning people's names, but this is on public record because of what Leonard Chancellor Tuluwa said. What did the court say about uh, uh, um, Leonard Council Godfrey Yebo Adame? I was in court yesterday. Mm -hmm. I didn't see Mr. Amaliba in court yesterday, so uh, I would just credit him with the fact that he was not in court. So the questions that he sought to ask himself, that he's answering himself, was answered by the court in its decision. In the ruling. In the ruling. Which we all all this, have access to. So whether, whether all this, or not you were probably, in the court. Probably he has not averted his mind on the rulings of the court. You know, you know the ruling came a bit late. Mm -hmm. The certified ruling of the court mm -hmm. came a bit late. And the commentaries of this decision started running after I could see saying uh, from, from four thereof. So people got busy throughout the day. And coming here early morning, I, I, I can confidently say that some people have not even had the opportunity of reading the certified ruling of the court. If not, some questions wouldn't be asked and answered on this platform spuriously. Like? Yes. He stated that um, the court ought to have directed, I'm coming, I'll come to those questions and I'll answer them for you, that the court should have directed or gone further with, uh, beyond the advice mm. because of the poster of Godfrey Dame, he's so powerful, he is that, he is that. Uh, with all due respect, as far as our, our democratic systems and underpinnings and the rule of law is concerned, the constitution of Ghana is the supreme law of the land, not even parliament, not even the president. And everybody, we all are be under the law. You get it. Mm -hmm. We all are under the law. The Attorney General, I have been in court, in the Supreme Court, in this LGBT matter before the court, where the, 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 the court approached, speaking through the, uh, her, her Ladyship Justice, um, the, the Chief Justice, mm -hmm. really gave it to the Attorney General in this subject matter. All the, all, all, all the councils representing the parties in this subject matter received their fair share. You know how, how rigorous the Chief Justice is. So, it will, it will be sad that if you are not in court, if you are absent in court and you, be, you decide that you want to just use influence peddling to ridicule the sanctity of our judiciary and these matters thereof. It's sad. I don't know Let who is doing that because, again, we all have access I'm to coming, the Bella. So Mr. Maliba was here stating, he stated all these things mm -hmm. on this platform. I was quite listening to him mm -hmm. and making some notes that he has been in court and he has seen some, uh, some persons, some counsels addressed in a particular way, but full respect given to the Attorney General, he's so powerful, he's that and that, and that even if he shoots to kill the third accused person, nothing will be done to the Attorney General. You were here. You even asked him a, a follow-up question on that. that, whether he trusts the judiciary or whatsoever. So you see, how can an Attorney General be ordered uh, to recuse himself from a criminal prosecution, a criminal trial that he's leading? Fast forward under Article 88 of our Constitution. The Attorney General, it is not. You know, the drafters of the Constitution were mindful. They knew the Attorney General cannot work alone. They knew, the drafters of the Constitution knew that the Attorney General needed an office, needed a staff to work with. But the Constitution granted the prosecutorial powers to the Attorney General. And 88.1 defines who the Attorney General is. That the Attorney General will be, will be a, a Minister of State and whatsoever coming down. Giving, granting the power. So in terms of attorney general, who the attorney general is, we know that he's a minister. Mm -hmm. It is not a director of public prosecution. It is not a deputy attorney general who is not mentioned at Article 88. Mm -hmm. It is not any other person but the attorney general, who is the, uh, Mr. Godfrey Dame, who has that power granted him by this constitution to conduct criminal prosecutions for and on behalf of the state. So if you order the attorney general to recuse himself, then you are telling the whole world, you are telling the whole people that the trial has been discontinued. Because the person with the onerous duty of prosecuting uh, a criminal, uh, conducting criminal prosecutions mm -hmm. has been ordered to stay away. So where lies the, 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 the trial? How can it go forward? But, but isn't that why, for example, Ajanto is saying that in that case, let's separate the Attorney General from the Minister of Justice so we don't have some of these issues? No, these are two separate distinct entities. The Minister of Justice uh, supervises the judicial arm of government in terms of policy direction and the like, promotion of human rights and all there is, and a whole lot of things. The attorney general, the manager of the attorney general, is to conduct criminal prosecutions. Mm. And he's the principal legal advisor to the state and those things. These are specific duties uh, uh, fused together. So when a judge calls the attorney general, he cannot say, I will not go, because he, has, he is the minister of justice. And he's, to, he, he's there to seek the interests of the state, to protect you and I, our human rights and all their rights to make sure that policies, as far as the rule of law and the conduct of the judiciary and the likes, are preserved and those kind of things. Mm. So these are separate uh, distinct duties that I believe 
I have had opportunity to also pro, uh, also also add in my voice that it should be decoupled so okay. that we have a ministry of justice mm -hmm. that is strictly at the behest of the citizens, not in criminal process. Because once you are being prosecuted criminally, it means that you are fighting against the state. Mm -hmm. And who, who is leading the state to fight against you, the, the citizen? It is the attorney general. Are you getting? And this same person is the minister of justice, who is also there to ensure that your rights are being protected. So it should be clearly uh, decoupled so that we have sanctity, we have a person performing the duties and functions as the minister of justice, and the person performing his honorable duty as the prosecutor or the attorney general of the state. Bella. Let's let's look at what Article 88 states, so that we can go we can we can go for it and and end this issue of uh, an order the court going further and these things. The Supreme Court has far ruled on this subject matter as far as the the conduct of some constitutional bodies are concerned, and it is mindful of injuncting constitutional bodies as far as the performance of their offences are concerned. And even with the Chief Justice, there has been a ruling where the Chief Justice was involved. And the chief justice, you know, as part of the administrative functions per this constitution, appoints justices to, to preside over uh, cases before the court. Mm -hmm. And if the chief justice is sued, it is the same chief justice who is going to appoint a justice to sit on the same case. So, i.e., you could be saying that there's a breach of natural justice or their rights, but it is inherent in this constitution because okay. you cannot be a judge in your own case. But this is an administrative function of a chief justice, which has far been ruled by the Supreme Court that she can continue to do that, even where she is a party or that the chief justice. I'm using she because we now have a chief justice who is that's a female. female yes. So that's why I'm using the she. That she continues to perform her functions as the chief justice. Okay. So in terms of Godfrey Dame performing his constitutional duty as attorney general under Article 88 of our constitution, which is clearly spelled out, no court. Mm -hmm. It would have been wrong in law. It would have been breach of the constitutional duties of the attorney general. And even the high court do not have a jurisdiction. To, to, to give these orders because as far as the enforcement of this constitution is concerned, it clearly lies within the exclusive jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. That's interpretation and enforcement of this constitution. So the court, the, 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 her leadership was just clear within her jurisdiction that she did not want to conduct an ultra virus as far as her, her powers were concerned within the high court. Mm -hmm. Then gave an advice. And the advice has been interpreted. What is this advice being? Because of this commentary that we are, we, are, we are running outside politically, the judges are also human beings. They watch TV. They listen to us. They watch us. Mm -hmm. the, the coining, the, the, the spinning, and all the rest that is going on in the media space, they, they hear, they watch. So once it is centered around the, the learned attorney general, she found out that, yes, it will, it will be right that probably you step aside so that the atmosphere, there will be sanity, in the, there, there will be sanity within the atmosphere so that the okay. trial can go on peacefully but without if, people. If the attorney general. In, in no, but, but she was hold specific on. Oh, in what of her, she said. Of her, of her, please, when you were speaking, I was here. She please, was hold on. Of her, you are my uncle. When you were speaking, I was here. Hold on. I didn't so make a comment. Shouldn't the attorney general also be concerned about the fact that, especially with what the judge said, that we need to protect the judicial process and also help gain public confidence? For that reason, he should step aside. If really he knows he's not done anything wrong, this shouldn't have been a problem for him. This is what I am saying. Public confidence. The, 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 the spin doctors. Spinning. Yesterday, even after court. I was in court yesterday. You've said that over yes. five times I was already. in court yesterday. Uh -huh. And what I heard that the advice, even after, after the decision was made by the court, the attorney general got to his feet and sought clarification from the court whether some orders have been made. And the court said, oh, no, 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 Mr. Mm -hmm. Damien, there has been no orders made in this court. Because he, the attorney general wanted emphasis mm -hmm. to be made on this subject matter because the room were packed with Spain doctors. Because Spain doctors were around in the there room, were in the courtroom. in that room. And Spain I doctors. Don't know if you are referring to the No, no, no. Spain, Spain doctors. doctors. When but we mention Spain doctors, we know the Spain doctors. You are not answering my and, question. And Bella, after court. You are not court, answering my question. After court, the uh -huh. National Communication Officer or Director of the NDC gave, uh, spoke with the media and put out an information that the, like court, the court directed the Attorney General that. to We've seen all that. We've seen all that. My question which to was you, hold palpable on. falsehood. Hold on. My question to you is mm -hmm. for the sake of the public also trusting in the judiciary and gaining public confidence. And the fact that the judge said that step aside so that we can protect the judicial process. Shouldn't he, if he knows he's not guilty of whatever it is that was said in the tape, shouldn't he have decided that, okay, just for the sake of my integrity and also for the sake of people trusting that Bella. we are prosecuting this the right way, let me step aside, allow someone else to handle this matter. Bella. So that if they are really guilty, we know that he had no hand in sort of twisting things just to favor Bella. himself. Bella, was there any ruling in the courts to indict the attorney general of a wrongdoing in court yesterday. Was there any ruling in court? 
which indicted the Attorney General of any wrongdoing. In fact, all, 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 all the applications that were made, the four applications that were made, that uh, an inquiry should be conducted into the affairs of the, of, of the Attorney General or the matters of misconduct, the court declined jurisdiction and directed them to the, the, the appropriate forum that if they want to explore that option, mm -hmm. they should go through this process. This is the, the, this is the difference theory in law because it is, it is rightly in the ambit of the General Legal Council that regulates the conduct of lawyers in this country. Again, on, 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 on seeking an injunction to, to twat mm -hmm. or to stall the prosecution, the court refused. Mm -hmm. Again, on uh, praying to the court that the court should withdraw charges or... And so all four applications, all, all, all yes. applications were. So but, where, where, in this, where in this decisions did the court indict the late attorney general that you have misconducted yourself no, or you have you conducted are not wrongdoing? Getting, and I'll ask That's again, what I'm telling you. I'll ask again that the attorney general himself, if mm. he was very confident that he's not done he's anything wrong. He doesn't mm. want to understand. Okay, he's not done anything wrong. Mm. And the judge is advising him to recuse himself. He should come out and say that because I'm so confident about this case I'm prosecuting, let me step aside. At the end of the day, I'm very sure that even with all the ev evidence that has been adduced, they are still going to be found guilty. But I at least want the public to gain confidence in the judicial process. Shouldn't he have done that? The Attorney General, after the advice of, the, of her leadership, proceeded with a trial. He proceeded with a trial. I don't get you. The Attorney General proceeded with a trial because he had, he had may not misconducted himself. So there was he no has any indictment. Yes. He has confidence in himself. So that is why he sang the so song. Head of why don't you allow fans. the public to gain Stop trust in the process by stepping aside? No, no, no. Don't, don't here, focus please. on him. I'm, no, I'm please, just please. asking the question, sir. So why did he not step aside on his own? Why because should he step he aside? He believes in himself. He believes in himself. For that's why he's conducting the, the trial. Public, if you are saying that there are lots of spin doctors and there's so much misinformation, etc. Mm. Now, if you know that you are very confident in your prosecution, step aside like the judge has advised. He's confident. Allow the case to progress on its own. If really, you know, the, the, um, the minority leader is guilty, Mr. Richard Jackpa is guilty, eventually the evidence adduced would show that. Bella, I am stating authoritatively on your platform here that the learning attorney general has not misconducted himself. He is full of life. He is full of hope. And he's conducting his onerous duty that this constitution has bestowed on him. Right after the decision, he proceeded to conduct his case in court, and we are in court where cross examination resumed it's with uh, okay. Mr. Mr. Okay. Uh, uh, Tamaklu, okay. the counsel for the first accused person, okay. proceeding to cross examine you seem to be uh, missing Mr. Japa for on behalf it's of the first accused okay. person. Can I, can I ask? You see, uh, counsel, please hold on. Let's let. It's not missing the point. He's just uh, trying to dodge your question, but your question was relevant. You see, first and foremost, when Justice Duche made that statement of great loot and share, it was not against Madam Betty Moridriso. It was against the entire party. And nowhere in that judgment did Justice Doche ask Betty Moridriso to recuse himself. So you are here comparing apples and banana. Because oranges are even close mm. to apples. Oranges, they are close, they look like them. They are round, round like them. But you are comparing apples with banana. Banana is long like this. So, what your question is seeking to elicit is that for the sake of the public image of the judiciary, for the sake of the credibility of the judiciary, wouldn't an attorney general say, to save the sanctity of the judiciary, I'm going to step aside and let my deputy continue. Mm. Because I'll still be in office anyway. Why is the Attorney General so fixated in prosecuting this matter? Is it because of the Akufu Ado can Oforeta orders to him to get or to force him? Imprisoned? We cannot say that for a fact. But he himself has said it. Yeah, but we cannot say that for a fact. That else, what else can you reason. say? Because in some jurisdictions, when a story building collapses, a minister resigns. Let alone you as an attorney general, having so grievously misconducted, hugely misconducted yourself, you still come out, and that's what uh, 
Uh, that was saying that he should have be humble to just walk away without even granting interview in respect of this. What was he mocking? He was not mocking human beings, like uh, Samuel Javi said. It was God he was mocking. Because you have been caught red-handed. It's not like you were not caught. It's not like a tape was doctored. You have been caught talking to a third accused person without his lawyer. For God's sake, these are the people who, from their tradition, taught us at the law school. Samu Kujoto, Nene Amegache, taught us in the law school mm. on these matters of professional ethics and all those things. Didn't they sit in the, those classes? Didn't the attorney general sit in the uh, 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 Okujeto's class when he was teaching ethics and the profession, how to conduct yourself and how not to misconduct yourself? So, look, I have ended this matter here that in this country, crime has political colors. Once you commit an offense or you do a wrong and you attach yourself to the NPP. You, 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 you can't say that. You, you, you walk Council, you can't say that because you then you also sports put, sports. Um, you know, the integrity of these judges in disrepute. So for me, what I am saying is this. Well, is it the uh, uh, judicial that arrests wrongdoers? No, but they are so, the ones that sit on the matter and judge. Yeah, but, yeah, but they must be arrested first. So if you say that if you attach yourself to the MPP, yeah, they must be arrested first. Free. They must be arrested first. So I am of the view that where we have gotten to in this matter, Kofre Dame, it will forever follow him till the end of this case. You are that, uh -huh. that he is maliciously prosecuting <laughs> these persons before court. I didn't know remedy because, for malicious Because he himself has said that oh, you're a lawyer. it was not by him. Oh, no, what, what is your problem? Please, hold there on. are remedies for that. Hold what, on. So you what? know, when you were speaking, you weren't too happy when he was interviewed. So allow him to. When I was speaking, he was coming. So, so, but so, you weren't so, happy. So, so, hold on. How, hold on. So, you see how painful it is. So like when you are you speaking, have, someone comes in. You have an attorney general who has told the whole world that two people have asked him to ensure that uh, Atu Fosin is prosecuted and convicted. So if that is the case, we all now know, moving forward, the next agenda date, when he goes to court, we know that he's doing the bidding of the president. So nobody will have confidence in the work that he's doing in court. It will forever tarnish his reputation, taint him forever and ever. And these matters have all gone into the law books about him. One day, his child will say, my daddy, I read, did you do this and this and this? It will remain with him till that kingdom come. Well, let's wait till the, the you know, the trial is over. But, Lord Jantua, so, I so, rebut, hold on, I'll give you the chance to come in and rebut. But, I mean, the concern about the fact that the AG should have stepped aside, you were saying that, of course, he should not have even granted that interview. The whole idea of having them in the open, in the public space is not a good idea, first of all. But... Should he just not have stepped aside on his own, just to engender trust in the public and also to ensure that, you know, there's sanctity within the judicial space? That is what I would have done. But did he know he was being set up in a trap? Because what his comments, what was mm -hmm. his comments? That people were creating traps around him. Mm -hmm. Now, if you knew you were being set up in a trap, why did you fall into that trap? and say the things you said, because the judge has confirmed that you discuss details of the case with the accused. The judge said it. And you see, the one thing Godfrey Dame didn't do initially, he did not consider the background of Richard Jappa. He did not. As in a, what way? Richard Japa is a security guy. <laughs> he is a security guy. And he should have thought that ah, this guy I'm talking with is security. He could be recording me. Because in the tape, mm -hmm. did we mm -hmm. not hear? Mm -hmm. So he fell into that trap. 
And definitely, this case started when? 2021. Richard Japa had seen and had looked at the conduct of the Attorney General and where the Attorney General was heading to. And he, being a security guy, wanted to make sure that his case was watertight. Yeah. And so that engagement was a trap that he fell into. And hence, when he asked, I hope this thing is not being recorded. Did Japan yeah. say anything? No. But it was recorded. It's proven. It was recorded. How can an attorney general fall into such a trap? <clears throat> How? And you knew. And you said it. Some people are falling into a trap. What did the judge say? Did the judge say he'd fall into a trap? No. The judge said he had discussed details of the case with the accused. And because of that, her recommendation is that he recuses himself out of taking that. Because there's a deputy. Hasn't the deputy stood in for the attorney general in this case? Hasn't he? Mm. When the attorney general traveled, I would have recused myself to make sure that no further damage is done to my integrity as attorney general. So... He's going to cross-examine the third uh, accused, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait for the fireworks that are going to come out of that. Well, the NDC says, or they allege that they have more tapes. I said, I'm talking about the cross-examination. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the NDC. Mm. I'm talking about the cross-examination. He's going to cross-examine. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't take that responsibility and he leaves that responsibility to his deputy to cross-examine and not him. Because I can bet your bottom CD there's going to be fireworks with that cross-examination if he decides to take it on. Mm. Like, Things are going to appear that haven't appeared in this case as yet. Mm. So if I were him, I would just recuse myself, give it to my deputy to do, and let the and case move on. on. Yeah, the court, the court answered this question. That the most crucial factor in the case is whether a fair trial has been endangered or prejudiced. Is there any evidence that the conversation between the parties can reasonably endanger a fair trial? Then the judge answered no. Because the judge on, her, on the basis that at the time the supposed conversation happened outside the court, mm. the attorney general has closed its case. Mm -hmm. And the case has been made against the accused persons. Again, the first accused person, Dr. Kislato Forsen, has also mounted a defense and has closed his case. It is the third accused person who is giving a testimony and is in line with what? Being cross-examined. So these are the, 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 the factual basis that the court ruled. So there was no indictment against the lender attorney general on this subject matter. So if someone is praying on this table that crime has coloration in this country and that if you are NPP and you commit any crime, you go free. And if you are NDC, you are punished by with the law. It is factually inaccurate. I repeat again for emphasis that he stated that in Ghana, there hasn't been any attorney general that has been reprimanded, not even a, a, a police a prosecutor. I have stated that the Supreme Court, speaking through Justice Jones, Maulom Duche, mm. in the Matinamidu versus uh, Woyome and Waterville, stated that it was a great loot and shame. But, and the parties were indicted. But, but they didn't ask the Madame attorney general Bidu to Bidu accuse. Who <laughs> was, no, she was indicted. This one was recused. <laughs> This one not what, 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 It was an indictment on the integrity of the Attorney General that created Luth and said, uh, 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 and who authorized for the payment? When the president, the then president said, do not pay. It okay. was Madame Betimodi Dusu. Oh. So when the court stated that it was created Luth and Share, the inference was on Madame Betimodi Dusu okay. that she has been indicted in, in a loot brigade. She has been indicted in, in, in a scandalous situation that has caused this nation an irreparable damage as far as her resources were concerned. Was she advised to accuse so, herself? She was indicted. She was not even given the opportunity. <laughs> what, she what, she was not even given the opportunity. And in the matter of, okay. the matter of Godfrey Damien, he has not been, what, he has not been tried on any misconduct. Okay. He has not. Well, well, Godfrey Damien has well, not been tried well, or subjected to any administrative procedure as far as misconduct advising. is concerned. She said she was strongly advising is it, him. Is, that it, is, it of, is it of persuasive students. effect? Ask him. He's a lawyer. Well, okay. Is it of persuasive effect or a binding it effect? Damning effect? It is not damning. Okay. Well, it is well, well, what is damning is the civil brigade in, in the Waterville and so the Wayomers Standard. Me, unfortunately, we couldn't get into our second conversation. But there's no criminal law. There's no law within the criminal proceedings to accommodate such an inquiry of the misconduct of the Attorney General or any other lawyer in this country. This is why Justice Efia 
could only advise. That's a message coming in as well. Quite a number of them on Facebook as well. I have to wrap up, unfortunately, at this point.